Everybody's freaking out about AI. It's soon going to take over. We're going to literally have Skynet from Terminator 2. Uh, but ChatGPT can be a lot of fun to ask it really dumb questions and get surprisingly sometimes very accurate answers. And today I thought I would look up what ChatGPT thinks is the best ham radio. So let's see what it says. As an AI language model, I cannot provide a definitive answer to what the best amateur radio is, as it largely depends on personal preferences, needs, and operating conditions. However, there are several popular amateur radio brands and models that are widely recognized for their quality, features, and performance. Some of the top brands include Yesu, Icom, Kenwood, and Elecraft. Some popular models among hams includes the FT-991, the ICOM IC7300, the Kenwood TS590SG, and the Elecraft KX3. Interesting. Ultimately, the best amateur radio for you would depend on your operating needs, budget, and personal preferences. Boy, did it really get that one right? That's like the motto of the Hammer New Crash Course. So it is recommended that you research and compare different models before making a purchase decision. Wow, a couple of things jump right out at me when I read that. The first is that it highly leveraged answers related to high frequency amateur radio, which as we know is a place that in the United States that generals and extras hang out in. The bands that allow us that, you know, propagation beyond line of sight style where we can talk hundreds of miles, thousands of miles, that kind of thing. So I found that kind of interesting that it just went straight to HF and it emitted VHF, UHF almost entirely. Also a bit telling here, chat GPT doesn't know like the current trends in amateur radio, or at least it's basing it off of, you know, whatever search engines that it's using. In this case, it still has Kenwood as kind of an active player. And while those radios are fantastic, I'm talking, I'm taking nothing away from them. I wouldn't necessarily say that's the best radio right now as Kenwood's kind of been not really active in the last couple of years. Further, with the new Yesu radios, it entirely skipped mentioning something that's at that beginner entry level price as the FT710, so I found that kind of interesting. Uh, not to mention the FTDX10, which is also a fantastic radio. I think it's also interesting that the first thing it mentions is that it's an AI language model, right? So a lot of people are freaked out about AI, and one of the things to remember about AI is that it's not so much intelligently coming up with this written speech, right? It's not like a thinking brain that's just coming up with this stuff based off the information that it gleams off the internet. No, it's it's more like a pretender, right? It's pretending to make a top 10 or best of article in the written form that we humans ingest it. And the way it does that is by literally mimicking what it sees off the internet in a similar format. So all it really needs is to know what like the most commonly mentioned model of a radio is and the most common brands and then kind of regurgitate it to humans in the right format. And we go, whoa, this thing's thinking. It's going to take over everything. And oddly enough, I'm, I'm kind of curious what it would say if you asked like, you know, what is the best off-road vehicle right now? It'll probably say something along the lines of ultimately the best off-road vehicle for you would depend on your operating needs, budget, and personal preferences because that's like all hobby items or things that are off the beaten norm of like, I must get to work, boom, boom, boom. But still kind of an interesting answer when you just read it coming off of just a chat thing that almost comes up instantly. I found that pretty impressive. Here's where things take a bit of a turn. Because it's just dipped so hard into HF, I wanted to know what ChatGPT thought of the best VHF and UHF radios. It gave way more information on this reply and I'll just read through it right now and put it on the screen. As an AI language model, I cannot provide a definitive answer to what the best VHF UHF amateur radio is. So already same boilerplate as we would, you know, expect it from the last one. As it depends on various factors such as personal preference, needs, operating conditions and budget. Points for that, right? However, there are several high regarded VHF UHF amateur radios that are popular among hams. Here are some options to consider. And here it's like giving me an itemized list, which is pretty cool. The Yesu FT3DR is a highly versatile dual band handheld radio that supports digital modes like C4FM, D Star, and P25. Totally wrong. But then it's right in saying, 
it also has built-in Bluetooth and GPS. So the next one, the ICOM IC9700, which fantastic base station radio, but probably not on the list that, you know, is, is someone's immediate go-to buy, right? It's not really a a handheld portable, it's not a mobile, it's a, a, an enthusiast type radio. Very high performing, very high powered, really good for specific points in the hobby, as well as just a really good base station radio. Again, something you put on like a table. They say, this is a high-end transceiver, that, which is true, that covers VHF, UHF, and the 1.2 gigahertz band, which is also true. It supports multiple digital modes and has a large color touchscreen. Okay, no inaccuracies there. This one though, the Kenwood TMD710GA. This is a mobile radio that supports both VHF and UHF bands. It has built-in APRS capabilities and a detachable control head for flexible installation. This is true, but Kenwood again, kind of what we said earlier, not really an active player and people are kind of like hedging on, you know, will they, won't they, right? Are they going to stay in the amateur radio game? Are they going to continue to support radios? Are, you know, warranties still going to still exist, which they likely will. Kenwood as a company isn't going anywhere, but these concerns exist. You're not wrong for asking those questions. Next, number four. Can't believe it's number four. The Baofeng UV5R. This is an entry-level dual-band handheld radio that is very affordable. It has a simple interface and supports FM radio reception. That's right. That's just straight up the right answer. The Anytone ATD878UV. This is a popular digital handheld radio, here it comes, <laughs> that supports DMR, P25, and other digital modes, which we know is just not true, right? It's a DMR radio. It has a large color display and supports GPS and Bluetooth. That is correct. Ultimately, the best VHF, UHF amateur radio for you will depend on your specific needs, preferences, and budget. Be sure to research and compare different models before making a purchase decision. You, you can see how it goes back to that, like, this is how you make a best of article, like even if it's just a blurb, like let me Google that for you, let me chat GPT that. Things are, people are gonna start saying that. It's gonna show up as like a shirt soon enough. But the answers are kind of like in the, the, the space, like they're in the orbit of the planet Ham, but they haven't landed on the planet Ham. And I don't know, given how chat GPT works and, and a lot of these AI systems, that it's going to be able to always know the latest and greatest because there's really probably not a lot of search results or just a, a, the noise floor on some of these newer radios being hot. And this is getting into the weeds somewhat, but it seemed like it wanted to have a radio from different brands. And I found it interesting Kenwood had to be included because Kenwood's a big company, but it didn't mention things like the Yaesu FT891, which is cheaper than the 991 and is really highly regarded for doing parks on the air or the new much newer icom 705 being a really good portable kind of shack in a box do all the things kind of radio because again it's newer in the ham radio zeitgeist it did include the elecraft kx3 which i thought was a, a cool head nod to elecraft I, again i don't know what the sausage making is for how they uh, drum up the information or what they search on to provide the feedback for this. But I found that interesting and it was the only QRP radio that made the list. So I thought that was kind of cool. And yeah, it's probably a good radio to look at, but I wonder, is it based on like price? You know, does it even look at price? Because again, there are cheaper options than the KX3 as well. Shagu G90 wasn't even on the list among many others. So it's, it, it, it very interesting to me. I found that interesting. I would like to hear your thoughts below. Have you done much playing around with ChatGPT or some of the other AI systems? I know there are a lot of people who are kind of automating things within these AI systems and they've created really interesting scripts, uh, but I would love to hear your thoughts below. And if you've ever done anything AI related to actually do something functionally interesting in amateur radio, you better tell me about it. And there are links in the description of this video and how you can reach out, find me and do that because I would like to hear what you're up to. I'm Josh, KI6NAZ. Thanks so much for watching this video and I'll talk to you later. See ya.